Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Health. And we're here today to look into grounded and ungrounded Faraday cages. And this is a chicken wire Faraday cage and it has an FM radio tuned in to an FM radio station inside the cage. And as you can hear, we're getting very poor reception. So, I'm very interested to see if that reception changes when I connect the grounding cable to the cage. So, listen to the radio and then I'll connect this grounding cable. Now, I didn't detect any change at all on the FM radio. And this is in line with what I'm finding with Faraday cages is that regarding FM and AM and microwave reception, it doesn't matter if they're grounded or not grounded. So let's open up the cage. So we can see that the reception came back and we just changed to AM. Let's repeat the experiment on the AM band. So you'll notice that the radio went much quieter. We still have a radio station, but it's very faint. And I'm now going to go ahead and clip on the grounding cable to see if we can see a difference in the radio. So listen to the radio. Now I didn't detect any difference whatsoever with that radio. So it's in line with what I'm finding with Faraday cages is that regarding AM and FM reception, the grounding of the cage doesn't seem to affect it whatsoever. So I want to see how this works with microwaves. So I'm going to change out our setup on the experiment for a microwave meter. So this is an RF field strength meter and our source of microwaves is going to be this wireless router down here which is currently switched off. And you can see that we have very very low microwave levels right now. So let's plug in the router and let's see what happens. So it takes a few seconds for the router wireless network to come on. And when it does, we'll see a spike in the radiation levels on this meter. So our wireless network is now on and we're getting a pretty large millivolts per meter value of just over 900. So let's put it in the cage. And this cage is currently ungrounded. And let's see what we get. So our value has gone up a little bit with it being inside the cage and our wireless adapter is over there. So let's ground the cage and see what happens. So watch the meter. So I don't see a change. So the cage is now grounded, but I'm seeing the same figures coming up on that meter. So let's unground it. So I have to conclude that regarding grounding and ungrounded Faraday cages around 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, it really doesn't seem to matter if the cage is grounded or ungrounded. You get the same values. And that was my conclusion with this experiment. I hope you enjoyed it and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.